When I started looking around, I found uh, a couple companies focused on this space, not a lot, you know, honestly, it was still like a handful. And of those that I found, I was not impressed with what anyone was doing. And in fact, some were doing it completely wrong, um, in my opinion. As an example, at the time, you know, there was a company called Hound Labs that had raised at an astronomical amount of money, over $100 million. They were, they were pursuing a cannabis breathalyzer. So looking for the presence of THC in the breath as a way to understand if someone had recently used cannabis. The obvious problem with that when you start looking at how cannabis actually works in the body is the presence of THC doesn't really matter. There's no evidence of impairment to be found if you are only measuring THC. In that way, cannabis is very distinct from alcohol, and it turns out most other drugs work in a similar way, where there are binding to receptors in the brain, and so measuring the amount of the substance in the body doesn't tell you anything that's useful. So that really then led me down the path of, okay, what does doing it right look like? And, and that was how I stumbled upon these tests that law enforcement were using that we've now automated, and figuring out how to extract data from that using our headset and, and then figuring out how we could actually derive signal from that data and measure impairment.